I'll give it a bit of time before I explain what's happening here if you haven't seen the last video. Uh, just pop a few. Oops. Their shooting skill's not right up yet. And if you think that's my fault, yes it is. But I mean, uh, what I'm saying is the targeting um, usually doesn't sway about as much as it does. <coughs> and you also can get like um, headshots more. You get um, a aid. Um, tracks the heads better. <coughs> We've been playing for a while. Can you spare someone? Nope. Right, anyway. So this is Andreas. This is State of Decay 2. We're playing. And uh, I'm currently on Drucker County map. Um, my base is over there. But I'm looking at another base right now. Um, I have seen this on other people's videos. <coughs> That's the vehicle I arrived in. That's the one that... Um, There's my, there's, oh, up there. Where's my vehicle? There's my vehicle. I was just clearing a few Zeds out so we could go and have a look at this camp. I just shot my tyres. Another thing I've noticed is my um, trigger on my gun has become really sensitive. Like it. I'm on this my left was maybe magazine. a problem as to why I'm now facing the issue I am without a leader. But um, I mentioned it, I think, not last video, but the video before last, or certainly the video before that, where <coughs> it just seemed that my controls had changed. And I had been playing another game called Prey, if you know that game, where you're alone on a um, like space station. It's survival horror like, you know. You can't really call this survival horror because everybody laughs at zombies nowadays, don't they? But yeah. Hiya Fred, come on out. Um Yeah, so what happened yesterday was or last night in the game should I say, which is just a few minutes ago for me was this silly B I itch she just popped the leader of the group for no re well for no reason the reason was i did my usual button spam to change characters but it because he had blood plague it said oh let's euthanize so she popped him in the head and i'm going no 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 there's no way to stop it i mean why the developers it's their fault really why the developers don't put a double stop on the button like you know are you sure you really want to do this you know like one of the warnings that comes up before you switch your character it should come up like that and say, you really want to end this character's life. Because that's it, you're done once you've done that. And, it, and it's the leader as well. He should have a little bit of at least extra protection on him. But no. Right, anyway, so I, I came here after that big major fuck up. Pardon my French. Um, so now I've not got no leader. All of the goals I've been following since like literally the start of the game which has been building up an armory at my base switching to that particular base because it had an armory or it had a slot for an armory and slot for a watchtower um, and then you know going and getting an armory we've now we've just got this new base down here which was the armory and that's where all that shit happened just now so anyway By the by now, now I'm looking for another warlord. So until I find one, I need another leader and then I'll have to kill that leader, I suppose. Well, I don't need another leader, I can just leave them devoid of it. This looks actually more like an infirmary. So... Parking, one gate tower, employee bathroom, concession kitchen, driving theatre, large slots, small indoor slots. Um, one large slot, one small indoor, 
and three small outdoor slots. And it's going to cost 1,500. It needs six people. Guess what? I've got six people now. Thank you very much. Stupid game. Right, um... So we just need to look around. <coughs> I can't see how that can possibly. It's not working, is it? It's not a a working loo. I'm out of gas. I'm about to out of gas, you full of shit and all that. Stupid bitch. Let's kill the leader. I hope what I ought to do is promote somebody else the leader and shoot her. I think those are the stairs I went up on. I gotta rest. Yeah, I mean, like them plastic water bottles. Th those are standard, aren't they? You Only know. one of those <coughs> left. We should be able to take them and fill them up and put them back on the shelf. But obviously, the other way up. So at the tops, the open tops at the top, because we haven't got no way of sealing them. Oh, no, the factories don't exist. But there you are. This will be your kitchen, I suppose. Does it say we've got a kitchen? Concessions kitchen. Employee bathroom. I've, I've seen smaller windows that you can climb through, yet you can't climb over that. And it's not even knee height, look, basically. Not even hip height. So that's the large, that's a small, very small, isn't it? Another one that's very small. I suppose that's supposed to be the indoor one. Might be a guard tower. There's <laughs> my bullets there. No point in shooting him, he's got a helmet on. Four parking slots. <coughs> so, what's the point in that? Oh, I see. In the back of here. Crap. No more of those left. <laughs> I 
<laughs> hey, it's a clown. JJ. So, I didn't have to worry about spending three plague samples on such and such today. No fuel in the damn thing. The thing about this truck, why it's better than the one I've got, is because not only... Oh no, it isn't better than what I've got. I was going to say, not only has it got the same rear space, but it hasn't. I forgot about that. Um, but it, it's slightly better in the fact that you can take six people with you, but you never have to take six with you, so who cares. With a little sprucing up, we could live here. So this must be like where you, you clear up areas. You know? Anyway, I mean, I don't really think I want to move here, to be honest with you. <coughs> I'd not had that plan, of course. Apparently there's a projector screen. I saw this on um, somebody who was telling you what the uh, different bases were. But unfortunately, I wasn't as impressed as what everyone else was. So where's the three indoors? That's not indoor, that's an outdoor one. That's an outdoor one. It says two outdoor. It says actually three small outdoor slots and one large one. And one small indoor slots. So if that's the indoor slot small, that's the one. Two other small ones. That's the one large one outdoor slot. Uh, the other one must be on the roof. Yep. Uh, and it's then it's got its own... Driving theatre. What's that about? Concession kitchen, employee bathroom, gate, tower, parking. I can't afford it anyway. And I wouldn't want it. I was trying to do the Warlord. Oh, there's the projector room. It looks like deal. nobody else is home. That's quite nice. I like that. And the thing about this room, apparently, is that you can do training you can show training videos that help everyone all at the same time but you know beyond that really doesn't impress me um because <coughs> you can't jump off the roof can you not yep but um, I was thinking that I'm not impressed in the actual, like it's not a fortification, I know it's not a fortification, no, it's just a driving theatre, made to look like an Alice in Wonderland type of place, but you know. Taxi that I used uh, and a Maximilian that I used, I've had a play on those two. The other car I haven't seen since the day I first played. was uh, this other American muscle pound deck and I've tried explaining it to someone else and he says oh well I've never seen it I've gone through all the cars 
And I've never seen it, and I know everything about this game that there is to know, and I just thought, well, you... <laughs> you know, it's like... Nobody should say that, because there's, there's plenty of things about a game that you won't always know. Right, we're just going to go up and take a run through the middle of the village, I think. These guys are pretty desperate, and we're not in a position really to help them that much. We're not. It's a bit nicky about giving their group some food. Why? They haven't even done anything for us. All the times we've helped them yet, we still haven't got one single iota out of them. Not one single thing. We're going home anyway now. You still taking care of that thing we discussed? That's a freak. Now, maybe the feral, but certainly not a normal zombie can pull the doors in. certainly do. I was just talking about stupid things that you do as well when that thing happened where you shot him. Shot the leader. And he's my best trained guy, basically got everything on him. You know, my leader of my group. Obviously she didn't like him. Have a look. But you know, overall, saying that all right, I've died, my main leader's died. Overall, the game's a little bit too easy. No, that's why you become complacent and you die. But I'm not seeing too easy because I can play it. I mean, I think it's too easy. The, the Zeds aren't hard enough. I mean, yes, they do go, do go down anymore. You've got, there's, there's too many things in this game which are not, not quite what you'd expect. A whole horde, is it? Let's do that again. She looks really tall, doesn't she? That's sort of like shortened her down a little bit by about six or eight inches. Hmm. I don't need both of them and I can leave that in that literally pristine brand new van. Let's see if the gunshot remains on the window. Oh, not now. Joking. I just broke a gun. And she hasn't got a shooting up. 
good. She's total fuck up, isn't she? This is mid mist. This is really it. The last plague heart in town. It's oh, hard is to it? believe. Right next to a graveyard. Well, you best. Your best guy for killing that, you've just done him. Eh? No, play guard samples. That looks like um, a crematorium, stroke burial, funeral home. Let's take her in on her own. Surely there should be a hearse in this game, you know. It'd be nice, wouldn't it, to have a hearse? You could drive. It's so... Oh, I've seen this place before. This is like in... Um, this is the church in the Outline Locked. District. Yikes, too loud. Yeah. I know what it's like in here. It's just a church in the outline district. You don't even need to be in here. Hey, finally we get one. Two. So I saw player's quite good, but you know, unfortunately, she's going to be breaking that sword soon. nothing decent to fight the plague heart with so mm. we can drive over to and I don't think we can I don't think there's any way down from here. Are there any helpful people in the area? No. I could use don't ask her, she's a murdering bitch. We have some stuff for trade if anyone's interested. Have you got a hangman's noose in there? This just might be the road we need to be on anyway. So I get down to that road. It's no obvious way. I suppose since we're near the end of the game, I could give these people some food. That was what they was wanting. And they are my allies. Trader. 
I'm headed your way now. We're not. You should have to... Uh, no, that's another thing. You should be able to announce back to the people whether or not you want to contact them. So they should be saying things like, Hello, is there anyone there? You know, can you come in, please? Can you? Are you reading me? And then you s they can hear me in the background talking on their mic when they've got it keyed and they're saying to each other. I, I don't know if they're picking us up, if they're receiving us, because there's no reply. Oh, I'm gonna fuck you up. Okay, speak to Nicky about giving our group some food. Somebody <sighs> out there must be able to help us find more supplies. I'll find someone in the network to handle that. Mutual defense and people to trade with? Hell yeah, sign me up with the network. Been there. So I'm just gonna have to I better take a break. I need it. Should have thought of that before you went and killed the leader. She called when she did it as well, just no remorse. I don't know. We should think about this. We've got time to get you back to the base, you know. And potentially make you call again. Nope, none of that. Just wait, right, fine. Let's use an energy. I was just heading back home. See you soon. We'll just do this, then we'll go home. I'm just about halfway through that video now. So. Oops. I was looking at one of my previous video um
£25. There's a lot of driving about for nothing really, just for £20 influence. Not really worth it, unless she was going to give me... She didn't give me, did she? I didn't look, but... From experience, I sort of know. But she wouldn't have given me anything. I'm just going to go and check. Nope, I was stood there, and if there was anything, there'd be a bag of food on the floor. Or a bag, not a bag of food, because, you know, because we uh, gave food. So there should be a bag of uh, nuts and bolts, or machine parts, or weapons, or anything that you can give me. We needed help, the sheriff stepped up. The least we can do is drop off a little something from time to time. Helping hand. Instead, we'll just be moving on. Okay, we don't need it. Go away. Hey. Where's my cat on the tower? Knock it down, finish it off. What's been going on here while I've not been here? Yay for you! No ammo left. Are we dangerously low on ammo? Yep, you told me that. Um, ammo, ammo. What else do you need? Um, meds and parts. You don't need fuel, though, do you? It's all outside waiting for you, look, just somebody could come out and get it. And so the only reason why we don't need the van, the old cat use the van, is because it hasn't got enough seats for when we meet up with people. Nice job, guys. People back on the roof again. Um, right, so, being out for such a long time, probably need seeds on the garden. We probably need... Let's just take that out of there and see what else we could probably fit. Nothing. Yeah, fair enough. I'm tempted to kill this BITCH, but the thing is, um, just because of my animosity towards the character now, because of what has happened, but to be honest with you, it was my fault, because I shouldn't have tried clicking through really fast. Uh, 
5.56 for you. Dead guys moving in nearby. Zombies at the door. We can't go much longer without someone in charge. Yeah, this we is can. over. Don't let your guard down. I'm just gonna have one coffee with him. No, oh, she needs a nearly weapon. Quite good with that. Sample. Crap. Got a screamer here. What? I can't keep this up. I cook one on good. So I suppose I'll admit I had my doubts for a while, but folks, we won the day. If you won't help us, we're gonna have to leave so we don't die of starvation here. <laughs> when you find us dead and gambling on the road, just put us out of our misery, okay? That's awful. She is really good with this song. Yeah, fuck those guys. We don't work for them. Yep, yeah, fuck those guys. We don't work for them. And who was that that you said uh, they didn't want to play with us no more? <coughs> I've already took them food. I need some hostile people to go and kill. Wheelhouse truck stop. Five, you have six. One outdoor beds, one restaurant kitchen, one huge fuel storage. Got that here though. Seating area clearable times two, parking Lord, times four, one time. auto shop, one large oh slots. Like so right not me. enough really. Tag along with me for a sec. Whatever you say, boss. Just doing all right. Um, this last I haven't really played as this character for a while. Well, ever. Since she came to the camp. She's the engineer. We brought her along. 
Um, but her weapon's okay, but she's only got a six pack. So we're going to remedy that. Um, six pocket. Ouch. We're going to give her a cup of coffee. Just one. Um, we could actually go make some more coffees. Uh, she's the engineer. And what I was going to do was now I'm back at base is look through all the different people. See who's who. Medic, bull packs, and crackers. There she goes, and then she needs a gun, which we don't know what a shooting is like. Shooting is crap, a cardio is crap. But what is the trick? Leadership, she's a trader. Okay. Just give her this gun. And give her a seven point six two. Just no zoom on it. We'll give her a thing and some uh, bullets. Are you kidding me? There we are. So she's all geared up. Now, uh, Tanya. We're going to talk to you in a bit, see what we can do with you. So, Tyler. Take control of Tyler. He's a sheriff. He's been the boss already once. So, Chelsea, she's the one who's unfortunately probably going to die. Movie trivia, yep. Unless, they're only, she's a builder, no, nope, she's going to die. We've already had one of those guys. Um. Let's see what she's like. Agriculture trader. Wit. Hopefully not as in Whitney. No, don't want to switch yet then. So that type of thing is a type of thing that should come up when you've decided you're gonna you euthanize somebody say you should come up like that and say stop. Are you sure you want to do it? So... It's Tanya that did the dirty. So we're going to take control of this gal. Engineering. What did I say about her? Trader. No. So Amanda. Trader. So they're all basically traders. We're going to have to take control of her then. Builder. Okay then, so what is it she wants me to do?
plague on the community and she's the one who wants to destroy the plague heart. Well, before we do that, we want to find ourselves another guy, to be honest with you. Find resources, people. We could always do with... Um, it's time to call our neighbours and see if they know where we should look for goodies. But the main thing we want is locate... Well, the we survivors. The situation for you. Hey, anyone listening? Am I just talking to myself? Can someone please respond so I don't go crazy? Please? Okay. Scavenge for ammo there. Wondering trader there. Okay, dokie. Okay. Um, crackers, coffee, bread and butter, bullets. I'm headed your way. Hold the fort. It's getting real here, so hustle it up. How's it going over there? We uh could use some backup here. We got some survivors nearby. Go see if they're friendly, okay? We could learn a thing or two from Red Talon. Right, right, just before we go there, we've got to start a new video. <laughs> nice one! It's uh, about 45 minutes of video. We've just I had a 47 minute video. Done. So that was the day after the disaster. So I'm just going to take these back in there. Full start. <laughs> I put my woman reasonably safe up on here. The other one can look after herself. Cause she's on automatic autonomous, isn't she? Right, thank you very much for watching. Please check out the video description. See if there's any links in there or any tips or advice I've given. Uh any background story, whatever. I don't always do that but you know. Um Thank you very much for watching. This has been real for Andreas and State of Decay 2. I'll catch you in the next video. Well, it's the same day, but night shift, of course. Till the morning. Teddy, bye.